So on the QR code, um, we are viewing one QR code. Let me just put another one that has a picture. So this one doesn't have, oops. Let me choose one of the QR codes that has a picture. All right, this QR code. Now, if you are the owner of this QR code, the person that created it, you should be able to see all the transactions under this QR code just by looking at the bottom of the screen. So we want to import all the transactions that are connected to this QR code straight up. So we'll go to the um, QR code show fields and underneath here we can import, we can say add include. This is how you import another file in um, Laravel. So we're going to include transaction dot table. It, it, that is the table of transactions. Remember that um, from here, instead of writing, recreating a table, we are going to, we are simply going to transactions folder and importing this table. This table contains a full list of transactions. Look at it. All right. So we're back here. So let's put a H3 tag, a H3 tag that says um, transactions, transactions done on this QR code. Okay, so we can put it at the center by doing class uh, text center. Oh, beautiful. Now, um, remember you can do stuff like text, um, I think default or so, to change the color of the text. So let's just go see. It, it will throw an error. The reason it will throw an error is, is that inside this transactions file, if we come here, this transaction table, it makes use of a transactions um, variable that we've not declared yet is not present in our QR codes show field. So we're going to see an error. We're going to see an error as expected. Yes, there's an error and it's complaining exactly of this variable. So we have to go to the QR codes controller and import the transactions variable. So in the if you go up in app HTTP, uh, you will see transaction QR code. Then we're going to the show field, show um, action or model, uh, method. So we're going to say, we're going to create the transaction variable. So we're going to say uh, transactions, remember it's plural, is equal to QR code transactions. That's it, that's all. Then we have to import it here. The reason I'm able to get away with this is that we have already created this function or this method inside the QR code model. So if we go um, from here, if we go to models and go to QR code, at the bottom we're seeing transactions, you see? We've created this. So QR code model now knows how to relate with tran transactions. So we don't need to write a code for it. So here we need to pass in this um, variable to the view. So we'll do this with and then transactions and then transactions. Beautiful. So if we now refresh that page, oops, if we now refresh that page, it should work perfectly well right away. So transactions done on this QR code. So now um, the problem we have is that um, due to our HTML is not um, centered correctly. So we're going to go back to our show fields and make sure we don't need this. And make sure that this is sort of inside a div that extends. I think we should even do. Let's see where our row works. If we do a row, uh, we just need to push this div, this h1, to the extreme. So I think I should put everything inside a div. Inside a div. Let's check first before we start putting a class. Okay, so we can now add a class to push it to the extreme. So what we're going to do is simple. We're just going to do class and um, we're going to do call and the 12. That is, it should occupy the full screen. I think we should even do like um, call access. It should occupy the full screen at all times. So we'll refresh. So the this is it. Transactions done on this QR code. Very beautiful. Now, the last thing we need to do is to make sure that only an admin and the person that created this ICO can see. So we're going to go. There is an if statement that stopped here. So if we go up, we'll see that we've done it before. We've done that if. I just want to copy it. I don't want to start all over again. 
So th this is it. Where we did if the if is a person that's created this your your QR code or the admin. So we're gonna copy this if statement and come to the bottom here and uh, paste it. We just want only the person that created it. So look at what it says. The guy that created this QR code is he the one that is currently logged in, or if the person that is viewing this is an admin or or a moderator. So only an admin and a moderator can see this. So we're going to do end it. And uh, that's relatively beautiful. So if we refresh, we are good. So um, I'm seeing it because I'm a moderator. That's why. Look at my status update. So see you in the next video.